Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 1.19 Minecraft. And today, I am going to be finishing my cobblestone farm uh, that I started a few episodes ago. Last episode, I went and found a coral reef. I also built a, a fish tank. Let me show you the uh, fish tank that I built down here. There it is. We've got loads of really cool fish in here, a bunch of different colored ones, uh, and there's even some puffer fish. You can see them in the back there. They're really small, so it's kind of hard to see them, but there's a bunch of tropical fish in here. I've got some coral in there as well, some sea pickles, uh, but the fish seem to be pretty happy. So what I'm going to be doing today is finishing the rest of my cobblestone farm now that I've got the coral. Alright, so I've got the uh, the coral that I need for this build in my uh, shulker box here. So this is what I needed to get last episode so that I can build one of these TNT uh, duplicators. Now, there's still a few other things that I need to get. One of them is a sticky piston, which uh, I might have one already made over at uh, the factory, but I'm going to make a, a fresh one just to make sure. Uh, the other thing I am going to need is a detector rail. Uh, so I'm going to need to make one of those real quick as well. Now I do actually have some uh, detector rails already in my uh, shulker box here. So I don't actually have to make one of those. I've already got one on me. So that's uh, one of the things I need. I still need to make a, uh, a piston. Uh, I do actually need some cobblestone to do that. So let me grab some cobblestone and uh, I can go ahead and make a piston here. Uh, which, if you don't know how to make a, uh, a, a piston, it's uh, four pieces of cobblestone, three pieces of wood, iron, and redstone. And then to make this a sticky piston, you need slime balls, which I don't know if I have any in my uh, shulker boxes. Doesn't look like there's any in there. But I know for sure there's definitely some slime down here uh, that I can use uh, to turn this into a sticky piston. Alright, so I found a slime ball here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a sticky piston. And that should be all the stuff that I need to bring over. Uh, I do need uh, some TNT, which I've already got. And I also need, there is actually one more thing. I need a fence gate. So let me see if I've got one made in uh, any of these chests. Alright, so I've got the, uh, the wooden fence gate here. This is the last thing that I need to build this cobblestone generator. So I'm going to go ahead and head to bed here. And then uh, we'll head over to the factory. And I'm going to show you how to create this. Okay, so I've made it over here to the factory. It's time to uh, disassemble this and turn it into a, a TNT duplicator. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this. This is what I worked on building last time, which this is a, a blast chamber. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the redstone here. This redstone clock is going to move up to the roof, so I'm going to get rid of all of this, uh, but I am going to keep this. This is still going to be necessary to make this work is this redstone clock, which is made up of, I think it's 12 repeaters. Uh, no, it's 11. Okay, so there's 11 repeaters that I've got. Oh, I almost fell down the hole. That would not be good. Uh, the one thing I do want to do, it's not really necessary, but I just want to... Fill this uh, whole room up with obsidian just to make sure that nothing explodes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with building this now. So I'm going to start by putting one piece of obsidian down here next to the hole. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a cobblestone wall. And then on this side, I'm going to put four blocks of obsidian. So there's four blocks up with obsidian. And then there's going to be another four blocks over on this side. So we'll put four blocks up like that. On this side, I'm going to put one piece of uh, obsidian down for now. I'm going to go ahead and put the fence gate in, which is going to go right there. And then the next thing is I need to get uh, the piston set up. So for the piston, uh, it's going to go up on the roof on this block right here next to uh, this obsidian. And then off of that, I'm going to take, I'm using uh, these uh, honey blocks because I don't have a lot of slime. Uh, it will work with uh, slime blocks. I do actually need to get rid of these blocks here so that the honey blocks doesn't connect to it. Uh, I might have to get rid of the lamp as well. We'll see. 
uh, later on if I have to move that. I'm going to put three pieces of honey down right here. The next thing I want to do is put my detector rail on the, uh, the honey block. Oh, you know what? I might actually have to get a slime block for this because I don't think you can actually put uh, the, uh, the uh, rail on uh, honey blocks. So let me go get a slime block real quick. Hopefully I've got slime on me. Alright, so I've got myself a, a slime block here. This should still work with uh, the honey blocks and the slime blocks uh, right there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put one block here. I'm going to go and get rid of these slabs. And then I'm going to build three more honey blocks like this. So there's going to be one there, one there, and then one there. That is all of the honey blocks I'm going to need. The next thing that I need to do is connect up the redstone to uh, this uh, a piston here so I can actually uh, activate this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my repeaters. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, repeaters down on the, uh, the ceiling here to go ahead and create this redstone clock. So that should be all of the other uh, repeaters that I need. Uh, you want to make sure they're all at full delay. So there's all the repeaters at full delay. And now uh, I do need to get the TNT put down, which I think the TNT is out here in the chest. So let me go grab, all you need is one piece. Oh, and I also need the coral. Where's the, uh, the coral at? Here it is. Uh, so I've got my uh, coral fan here. Uh, so now it's time to uh, put the TNT in. So the TNT is going to go on this block here. Okay, so I've just figured out that I've actually put this in the wrong spot. So I actually need to move this back uh, one more block. I've got the whole thing set up properly. I've just uh, messed up the uh, the placement of uh, where this piston is supposed to go. So it's supposed to go right there. And then the slime block needs to go here. So that way uh, the minecart is going to be next to... Uh, this fence gate here. Uh, now the next thing I do need to do is put one more piece of obsidian in there. Alright, so this coral, I am going to have to move it. So you want to make sure you break this with a silk touch pickaxe so you can actually get the coral back. And then I'm going to move uh, these slime blocks over. So it needs to be one block away from here. I'm going to put two honey blocks like that. And then uh, this one's going to be the slime block, so you can actually place blocks on it. And I'm going to put coral there, break this cobblestone. That's very important that that gap is open. And then the TNT is going to go on top of here, below the, uh, the coral block. Now uh, it is uh, in the correct spot. So I'm going to go and put this down. I do need to go grab the minecart, which I'll just make a new one. I don't think I've got one anywhere. But the minecart is going to go on this rail here. So now this is pretty much ready to go. I still have to arm it so that it's functional. I'm going to do that here in a little bit. But it's at least set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and arm this. Uh, I'm going to start, instead of putting it on the redstone clock, I'm just going to put it on this lever. So to arm it, all you got to do is flip this lever, flip it back. Oh, uh, I, I, oh, great. This is not good. Okay, so I've replaced all of the honey blocks with slime blocks. This is the way it's supposed to be made. Uh, so you can't actually use honey blocks to do this. I was hoping you could, but it doesn't work. So you have to make sure you use slime blocks. It only takes six of them, which isn't a lot if you have uh, a good source of slime. Uh, but now everything should be in the same spot. I don't think anything moved. So let's go and arm this. So now it's going to grab the TNT and bring it back. I have a bucket of water. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I forgot to put the detector rail back. Oh, great. Let me break this. Let's grab the TNT back. Now I gotta reassemble this. And now this should work. I have the uh, the detector rail put down. Everything's in its spot. Let's finally arm this thing. So there we go. It is now armed and ready to go. So as soon as I flip this lever again, it is going to drop TNT down the hole, hopefully. Uh, I have water just in case this doesn't work. Uh, so let's flip the lever. 
So there's that. Did it go down the hole? Yep, it went down the hole. Alright, so now let's automate this. If I go ahead and break this, put the uh, redstone back. Uh, I didn't break any repeaters. Yep, I've got all the repeaters put down. They're all at full delay. So I'm going to go ahead and send a signal. Hopefully that's a long enough signal. Oh, it's not going to activate the piston because it's not going into it. Alright, let me reassemble this so that it'll actually work. Okay, so I've reassembled it, so now the redstone is going directly into the piston, and there we go. It's going to drop the TNT, it's going to fall down, explode, next one's going to go down, and then that one will explode. There we go. It is now a successfully working uh, TNT duplicator that uh, will explode the cobblestone down below. And then to turn this thing off, all you got to do is just break this redstone. And that will stop the uh, the clock. And then to turn it back on, you just flip that lever. So let's go down here now and see what is actually happened. Oh, I picked up some uh, cobblestone. Forgot how much I had on me, but I've got 13 pieces now. So what I need to do next is build the actual like collecting system. So I do actually need another bucket of water so I can make uh, another infinite water source. I'm going to get rid of this whole area here and build water uh, over where those cobblestone blocks are at. And that is going to push all of the items this way into a hopper. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this dirt. And I'm going to go ahead and put water down. And that way it will move the items pretty quickly. Water actually moves items very fast. So, this is going to collect up the cobblestone and bring it over there very quickly. So, I'll show you how this will work uh, once I put the water down. So, I'm going to go ahead and make an infinite water source there. And now, all the water is pushing the items over here. And I'm going to get rid of this block here and build another stream of water. Uh, that will bring it over to this side where I can use only one hopper. I don't have to put a whole bunch of them. So if I do that, it'll bring the water over to this block here. And I can go ahead and block that up. And I'm going to put a hopper right here. Which I don't actually have a hopper on me. Yeah, I don't have one. So I'm going to have to go upstairs and make a hopper real quick. Alright, so there's the, uh, the hopper. I've got... Uh, the, uh, the double chest here that's going to store the cobblestone. Eventually, I am going to make a system that will bring all the stuff up to uh, the top uh, where the, uh, the factory's at and link it in there. But for now, I'm just going to build a chest temporarily down here just so I can test this out and see how it works. So this is empty. There's no cobblestone in here. I'm going to go ahead... And turn the, uh, the farm back on. So let's go up to the, uh, the roof here. Turn this on. Hopefully I don't get attacked. I also put way too much signal in there. Alright, let me cut down the, uh, the signal there. There we go. So that should be good. Hopefully that's not too fast. Because if it goes too fast, it might actually break it. So you know what? Let me uh, get a little bit of a longer signal. There we go. That should be a good signal. So it hopefully won't break. And uh, it seems to be working pretty good. So now that I've got that automated, let's go down. Uh, this is actually kind of dangerous. But we're going to go down here and uh, see how much cobblestone is uh, getting collected. Alright, so I've already got over a stack of cobblestone in here. Wait, why is there so much? Wait, where did all this cobblestone come from? Wait, what? Alright, somehow a bunch of cobblestone just came in here. I guess it's working. That's great. Um, let's go over here and just kind of watch it for a little bit. Uh, for some reason, you don't actually see the cobblestone coming out. There we go. There's some cobblestone. So every so often, it'll uh, give you some cobblestone. I think sometimes it does fail uh, where the cobblestone actually gets burned by the lava. But most of the time, it comes out like right there. I just got a few pieces. So it is actually working. It looks like every other TNT explosion, it does some cobblestone. But in here, 
I've already got almost two and a half stacks. I did actually pick up a little bit of it. So I'll just like add that. 12 pieces from one explosion. That's actually not bad. Wait, let's let's see how much I get here. Yeah, like 12 per explosion, it looks like. How much is this? Yep, another 12. So every explosion is like 12 pieces of cobblestone each time, which is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because uh, it's really nice to get cobblestone. But uh, I don't really want this to like explode. It shouldn't. The reason I put this uh, fence gate down is to keep the TNT falling straight down the hole. Otherwise, it gets stuck on like this little bit of the block. Uh, when I was doing testing... I was exploding the whole room, so that was not fun, but I've got it so that it hopefully won't uh, explode the room. So far, I haven't had any problems with it. I do need to get the ceiling put back. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that just yet, but eventually I do need to get this covered back up so mobs don't come in. And then... I also need to work on building a way of sending the items up top to a chest up here. So off camera, I'm going to work on building some sort of mechanism that brings the items up to the top. So that way I don't have to climb down this ladder to go get the cobblestone. But the, uh, the farm is working out really well. So that's going to be pretty much it for today. I've built myself a cobblestone generator uh, and a uh, TNT duplicator, which uh, works out really well. As long as it doesn't explode, it should be good. So that's going to be it for today. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.